tell you what, V told me I want to get away for a day or two, and I went, oh, okay, well, let's go across to somewhere we've never been before. So we decided to come here to Nusa Lembongan, and um, there's two little islands just off the coast of, of Samoa, and, uh, and literally right next door to the big Nusa Panita, which is one of my favorite places in the world. I tell you what, this place is pushing the, pushing the boundaries too, I love it. I love this old world charm and, uh, and the adventure of just sort of going places that you've never been before and meeting people and just enjoying life. So I tell you what, enjoy this episode while I enjoy my, my pina. No, it's not a pina colada, it's, it's similar. It's pineapple, coconut, and a bit of rum. A lava flow. Oh, geez, that strawberry syrup makes nice down the bottom. So cheers, guys. Enjoy this episode. <laughs> I said bottom. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, the last time I come to Sanua, it looked a little bit different to this, but Murtasari Mur Mur Tarbot, I think it's called. It's um, one of the beaches up on the northern end, a little bit more northern than downtown Sanua. And it's where the ferries go, and the fast boats are crossed to Nusa Panita. And today we're going to Nusa Lembongan, a little island just off bet between Nusa Panita and Sanua, pretty much. Very close, very small, but I've heard lots and lots of good reports, never been here yet. So, looking forward to this. Right, thank you. And I brought old mate Alan along. Got a VIP treatment brought in here. Come on, young fellow, you go. We're in business. <laughs> and he's got the Muslim <laughs> Katut t shirt. Right, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> so, this is very friendly with the old people, yeah? I didn't expect it to be like this. No, it's not bad, eh? No, I didn't expect it to nice be like this. Nice and I'll tell you what, a year or two ago it wasn't. Yeah. There was, uh, but it's quite lovely, yeah? Lovely facilities. Sama Kasi. Sama Sama. You're pretty fancy building, I'll tell you what. Now Bali's starting to see a little bit of technology coming through, it's nice. It's special, yeah? <laughs> Here's our car way VIP, this one. Yeah, oh, already so many times we've been yeah, yeah. without uh, having to, yeah? Yeah. It's a good honor, yeah? Yeah. Bloody bagus he is. So apparently a bit of, there's a bit of, a, a bit of a swell out there. A bit of a breeze, so uh, there's a few bumps expected. But here we are on the D start, heading across to Lamongan. We're to try to keep the camera steady, even with this. Oh, this <laughs> um, so, look, I love being on boats, and my old mate Al's been on boats all his life as well. But it, it, it can get a little bit, a little bit gnarly over coming across here from, from Sanua across to Panita. Uh, and there's an environment. So my advice is if you're not a lot big on pounding oceans, um, two things. Number one, try and get a try and get a trip first first thing in the morning, six, seven o'clock in the morning, before the waves have picked up, before it's got too uh, too windy, you got a much, much better chance of having a nice calm crossing. Uh, and number two, <laughs> number two <laughs> is sit right at the back of the boat because up here at the front <laughs> you know what, you're going to get every every wave that they come and get so after about a half hour ride across the bay <laughs> it was a bit bumpy but it was all good we got here safe and sound. We're now going to depart. A bit of a wet, a wet landing. But come on, Bob Buck. <laughs> I gotcha. Here we go. Take your time. Take your time. Bye, Gus. Watch out, watch yourself. Hello. 
Bagus. Oh, look. Anyone that's followed many of my vlogs knows that the, the thing I love most about Bali is the, is the serenity. <laughs> oh, the serenity. I love it. Um, I love I love the old world stuff. I love the the modern nightclubby stuff. You can get them anywhere in the world, but there's only so many places in the world you're going to get to look out of your motel room and just see see this old otherworldly peace and tranquility. It's just gets me right here. I'm looking across. That's the mainland of of Bali Sanuas over there somewhere. You've got the the big mountain ranges as you as you drive your way around. To, from Chandy Dasa and then there's a big lumpy bit and then straight across there somewhere is the giant big mount of Gung um, and when when the clouds clear up maybe in the morning you'll see this absolutely massive big volcanic mound and that's the one we do a lot of these vlogs when we're going up into the into the really poor areas and helping people um, Nusa Lembongan is a little island between the big island of Nusa Panita and the island of Bali and it's a really tiny little piece of paradise it's a piece of old world paradise and it's so I love it I just it's just beautiful you got these little houses these little villages little fishing boats they harvest those little um, sticks in the ground is where they harvest seaweed and they use that for, for food they sell it at the markets and all the way around on the road from where you get dropped off at the harbour there's these little tiny bars by rooms, dive shops, little markets, little circle K's and stuff like that. Um, and it's got a really cool casual feel to it. Lay back now, I guess in the middle of peak season, there might be a, a lot of a lot of tourists here, but it's still a little quiet country town. We just get to watch people going about their business. A couple over there watching watching the footy. Two for one cocktails. And so there's the bar, the margarita lounge. There's Al getting a, getting us a beer. And I'll take you for a quick look through the actual uh, actual uh, little hotel we're at. Now give me an idea, it's probably about 30 bucks a night. That was. There's the boss. No boss. <laughs> it's just lovely here. Very simple. But, but lovely. And I tell you what, a bit of a sneak peek in the rooms. Beautiful. Big, clean, spacious. It's not the Waldorf Astoria. Don't need the Waldorf Astoria. On holidays to relax. Just to kick back. Sit by the pool. Just enjoy life for a couple of days. Get away from the rat race. And you just wind your way through these little villas here and you find this lovely little piece of paradise that we're going to call home for the next couple of nights so let's go through here knock knock hi we've got a huge bedroom and there's a lovely lady standing in my bedroom <laughs> um, a massive bed a giant and bathroom Thing. Well, clean, very clean. It's beautiful and clean. Mm. Um, you got a massive big bathroom, proper toilet, a decent shower. Really, you couldn't want for much more than this. And you're just minutes away from, <laughs> I would say the night, the nightlife, but the nightlife's just directly across the road, and you could go for a wander in five minutes in any direction. And find a dozen tourists just sitting there having a having a cool time, maybe having a sing song later on, or playing cards, or oh, who knows, reading a book by themselves by the water's edge. So that's my first impression of of Nusa Lembongan, and I'm absolutely not disappointed. I'm looking forward to this. This is uh, with all the craziness and all the all the pace that we that we keep. It's nice every now and then just to be able to get away from it all and just put your feet up for a day or two. Poor fee works from four o'clock in the morning till ten o'clock at night, and it just burnout is something you really got to look after. Look after, 
And me with my schedule too can be pretty hectic at times. I can be up to editing till sometimes one, two o'clock in the morning and getting ready for the next thing or just, yeah, dealing with all the stuff we've got to put, to put together. So being able to get away is really important. Good for the soul, especially when you come over here and you've got nothing to do but relax and that's really important too. The bungee jumping and all this crazy fun stuff is, is good but most people come over here just to chill, to, to unwind, and to give yourself a little back, top the batteries up. So when you get back home and you have to go back to work, you're, um, you're a bit revitalised and, and ready to do it again. Hey, listen, I hope you can't hear the, the music in the background because there's certain <laughs> copyright problems that we might have <laughs> with songs being butchered in the middle of the night. I've got to say, one thing you don't get to see very often in Bali unless you get away from the from the tourist areas is the locals having a bit of fun by themselves but over here on Noosa Lembongan it's someone's birthday and look there's not a lot of westerns here in fact I think we're it <laughs> but they're having a big night and they've got the karaoke out and they've been going now look the definition of karaoke if you look up the the Japanese English dictionary the word karaoke now I'm making this up as I go but the word karaoke means people who shouldn't be singing singing to people who shouldn't be drinking <laughs> so over here it, it means exactly the same bloody thing i'll tell you right now because these guys definitely shouldn't be singing <laughs> i wish i had more to drink and i'm about to catch up because it's, uh, it's it's unique let me just say that much but it's good to see them cutting loose because you don't actually get to see them very often um at home in 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 Dempasar or in in leggy and that by, by midnight they're still working half the guys that are working in hospitality are still just packing up and, and, and doing the dishes and putting the, seat, the seats and chairs away and stuff. we're just starting their shift at night so you don't sort of get to see them really cut loose until you get out into the villages and in the more remote areas well you don't get much more village like than here on the islands and they're in fine form so like, I can't promise how much the audio will be and I'll try not to, not to kill your ears too much but <laughs> I'll tell you what it's funny just watching them and listening along so come with me and we'll see what we can go hey, it's bad enough when they're singing in a different language but when they're singing badly in a different language <laughs> the only different, the only similarity about karaoke where I come from and karaoke over here <laughs> is you still know it's bad singing. <laughs> oh my god. So here we go. Oh, this is funny. <laughs> oh, just I need another drink already. <laughs> This is crazy. Oh. I'll tell you what. <laughs> it's good, don't you, man? They're having an absolute ball and they're just kicking back. Oh, look. <laughs> it's, um, it's a unique experience. All the way up and down the road, you see, it's a little bit wrongs. <laughs> like this one here. Don't worry about a fucking a mob of Aussie job, buddy. Hey, this is a Bali. Oh, these are Bali bogans. This is a real thing. This is a real thing, Bell. <laughs> I think Alan summed it up perfect. These are the Balinese bogans. <laughs> and they're doing it with style. <laughs> they're just sitting back, having a song and having a ball. Oh, God. God bless you. So don't try to hold me back Ain't nothing you can say Sweet cows in the paradise And we've got to go today Take me to the Akron Sun in Bali Up the door. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a bloody uh, 
bought my sunnies to breakfast because I tell you what, it's a bit bloody bright. Maybe my eyes are just a bit still asleep. Mm. Hey, morning, guys. Look, um, after a fun night last night with the karaoke, <laughs> um, that was that was all right. <laughs> um, gee, I tell you what, they had a, the boys had a ball, and then I got a, jumped on a microphone and had a, a bit of a bit of a western sing. And the boys were all looking at, oh, this guy can sing, um, but that was okay. We wake up this morning having a having a bit of a coffee and, and juice for breakfast. All right, thank you, boss. Okay, this more soup okay, for see. you. Yep. Look at this. Imagine waking up. Breakfast on the beach. Low, it's low tide, so the boats that are coming through, Sanua's over there, and they come across here, drop their passengers off, then they take off up up towards uh, the other side of the island to head towards Nusa Panida, the bigger island. And um, I'm, I'm noticing there's a bit of a, <clears throat> a bit of cloud cover over that way, <clears throat> um, and we could even get a bit of, a bit of rain if you look up here. It's looking a bit dark. It could be just a bit of morning cloud that burnt off, but oh yeah. there's, a, there's a bit of rain up at the top there, a bit of something dark. Um, yeah, beds were comfy, I've got to say, and um, and the atmosphere is really cool. It's nice and relaxed and nice and casual over here. So, um, what am I paying? I think we paid about 30, 40 bucks a night for a double, beautiful, spacious double room, um, including breakfast. And the breakfast, they do a fancy breakfast, but you can just have the the freebie one that comes like with an omelette and a toast and tea and coffee and stuff like that. You can't complain of that, it's bloody nice. And um, so far, coffee's pretty good. Morning. <sighs> Morning, honey. Look, she's. <laughs> honey. No more honey. <laughs> no more honey, just honey with the toast. Um, so today what we're going to do is get a couple of motorbikes, a little scooters, and we're going to go for a bit of a putt around the island. Now that'll probably take about 10 minutes, because honestly not that big island. Um, it wouldn't be as big as Waiheke over in New Zealand, um, but it's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's nice to just to have a bit of a look around, um, and we'll give you a bit of a look around <laughs> where we're going. Um, and then um, I just sit on the beach or just just have some have some good relaxing. There was a really nice hotel that's connected to these ones, that's just a little bit further back down the road. But they were booked out. That was one I was sort of trying to hope to get. Um, but I'll tell you what, can't complain where we are because it's nice, and, and the staff and the and the management are really cool. The music's a bit. Uh, I think I've heard this song before somewhere. So today the role of cameraman is going to be played by Alan. <laughs> he didn't know yet. Um, and Go so <laughs> we've got a couple of these little scooters. Now, <laughs> um, we are not on the mainland. We're in a village. Uh, we're on the island of Nusa Lamboran. And I'm sure if you really asked them for it, there'd be helmets around. But almost no one in the village wears helmets. But almost no one in the village goes over about 5 or 10 kilometers an hour. So we're going to take it easy. Just have a bit of a poke around. I've got my young fella on the back here, so I'll make sure that uh, I've got to look after him. And the old, uh, and then, an old lady with a walking with stick up there. <laughs> so fees, fees on that one. And we're going to do a bit of exploring. Eh? I believe it doesn't take long to drive right around the whole island, so I think we'll go to the left because I haven't seen that way yet. And, uh, and we'll see what it's like. All right, we're off on the Grand Tour. Oh, <laughs> 
Check out this. Yeah. We've got to pull off the road so the cars can get past. Uh -huh. It's an overtaking bay. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah, so the plan is perhaps we just see if we can get Al's mobility scooter over here to Nursa Lambongan and um, we do a pub crawl <laughs> because every every hundred foot there's another little warung or a little dive shop, a restaurant or something with uh, with beers in it. And I wonder how far around the island you'd get before you fell off the trike. <laughs> I would have to upgrade the ship. Oh, I tell you what, the suspension is here. It might loosen itself up, will you? Yeah, we're getting into the suburbs, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Traffic jam. Yeah. <laughs> you got a passing lane here. Okay, so one little bit of information I'd give you, if you're coming over to Lembongan, change your Australian money over to local currency before you get here because the, the exchange rate they're offering is a lot less than what you get in town, so in Bali. Chenian, Yellow Bridge, here we go. And the mangroves that way. So probably we've just done a big circle around where the mangroves were from the other side. The road didn't go that way. And we come back down here. It's beautiful out through the hills. And it's just, it's just a pretty narrow, rough road. And the cars coming the other way don't get out of their way for you. So you've got to be willing to dip the dirt or just be bloody careful. Probably be able to sail under this, I guess. We made it. <laughs> <laughs> Some more six year olds that have made it. Come past. School's out. Yeah, 
<laughs> and there's a sign back there. Sorry for the wait. I was hungry. A yeah. big sign out the front of a at the front of a restaurant. <laughs> be at the edge but well, it's not much different it's just beautiful it's quiet you've got a bit of pumpy music in there in the background and oh, check out this now it's low tide and you can walk from one island to the other if you go there's that bridge that we crossed over um, but imagine sitting in a hammock with the water level sort of coming up just to the bottom of the fringe of the thing you sort of wade out in the water and sit on a hammock that'd be pretty cool there's little boats sitting out there. Oh. You can see the, the reef up there where the waves come across. All these little barongs, little beach bars dotted all around. It's all low key. You don't have big industry. You don't have the Hilton Hotel or the, or the big resorts over here. You got some nice little personal family run places that are probably been owned by the, the current occupiers for years and years and that brings a whole different feel to the place um, the people that we were singing with last night at karaoke they were all locals I was born here and um, I was going out for a birthday party having a good time it was lovely I, um, it's so close to get over here and it's, it's not much on a ferry Katut organised it for me at KW Tours um, and they treated us really well because they love Katut, he does a lot of business with them. I tell you what, I'm going to be coming over here quite regularly I think just to um, to get to know it. I think it's beautiful, there's so many of these little bars and little places and every one of them is going to have someone pretty cool to have a talk to and a bit of a story. Um, and just to get away for a day too, it's just nice. We, um, it's a bit of a there's a work-life balance, I think. A lot of people come over to Bali to retire, to kick back and to enjoy themselves. Well, like when you're working heavy and you're busy and you're doing sort of pretty intense stuff like some of the work we do up in the villages and that, really important. And a lot of people actually make comments on my vlog, mind you need to look after yourself. Well, <laughs> sometimes I work myself pretty heavy and other times I just want to kick back and relax. And when you can come over here and stay in a hotel for... 20 or 30 bucks for a night and the return trip on the boats about the same amount of money we're just about to have breakfast uh, some lunch and it's about six or eight dollars for some calamari and some, or some grilled prawns i'm getting a i'm getting a, uh, a cocktail just to be different today normally don't do the cocktails but it was eight dollars for a for a, a lava a lava flow i think it's called i'll <laughs> check it out in a minute oh, i just love this I just think it's beautiful, peaceful. Dream Beach, and check this out, it's probably the busiest place on New Zealand Island. Lovely beach. Nice beach bar here. So we've had a great day today. We've been a bit of exploring. We've uh, got a bit sunburnt, and this place is just beautiful. It's really old world. It's very small and homely. Everyone's friendly, and now it's sunset, and 
we're down, I think it's called Linda Beach, around right about there, down the point, not far from where our hotel is, like a couple of minutes down the road. And we have a beautiful outlook. Look at this whole boat up on the beach. It's like a beach bar. We've got some music setting up here. We've got a pool over there full of people, and I'm pretty keen to see what the food's like, because I'll tell you what, the atmosphere seems pretty good. Beautiful white sandy beach. And um, we're just going to go out here and have a bit of a look. We've got happy hour on still for another hour or so, which is nice. Oh, look at this. So I think I'm going to have to call this vlog Nusa Lemboggen, where there's not much to do, so you can spend all day doing nothing. I love it. Oh, I just love it. Beautiful. Al's having to sit down. He's having a struggle walking on the sand, but it's just lovely. Bean bags on the sand. Some cute ladies on the beach. Where? <laughs> There's one. Uh, beautiful. Just lovely. <laughs> we have had an absolutely lovely dinner. Um, and the entertainment has been great with cultural dancing. Um, there's a, quite a few people here turn up just to listen to the music, to enjoy the buffet, and um, yeah, just to be around. It's a really nice environment. Beautiful, pleasant evening with a bit of sea breeze coming in, and um, it's lovely. Really glad I came. Hey, wait. What? What? Listen to this song, yeah? This is the song is for you. To you all. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hit the sack. I think early tonight, and we get up early. We're going to go up the mangroves and have a bit of a check out the the uh, mangroves, a bit of a national heritage area. And then uh, midday, we're heading back to the mainland, so I can start putting all this vlog together and send it off to you, so you can see what we got up to this weekend. So this morning we decided we're going to go for a bit of a bit of a trip up through the mangroves, and it's a bit of a like a heritage area, so they're not allowed to farm and fish through the mangroves. There might be a million crabs feast going. Oh, we can get some crabs, and no, not allowed to. But so here we go. Let's go to mangroves. Hey, you know what? Yeah. Where's Alan? He's right here behind you. Terus sekarang nyarinya sulit. Tertuli malam nyarinya baru. Ini karena akarnya rapat enggak enggak bisa masuk di he said Batam. No, Batam. He said Batam. He said Batam.
I reckon I'll time it. It's not bad, eh? Oh, the fish is jumping over there. No jumping. See that? Oh, look. See it's small, small fish. Uh, ding, 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 ding. Yeah. <laughs> Alan, Hello. are you happy? Yeah. Good? Good trip? Very you enjoy? No salembongan? Very good. So we're okay. going to come back. We've got a bit of a mission. Yeah. We're going to go start right down the end of this road and go to every single pub between here and our hotel. I reckon that's one day whole <laughs> pub crawl. Is that, that is your plan, not Alan's plan. Oh, no, it's his plan. He can oh, no, it. I cannot <laughs> trust that one. Well, bring, bring the bloody scooter over. That'll be a hoot. Yeah. So yeah. can get that over here. Uh, I heard frog. No, listen to that. You can hear something? No bullshit from you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Go get a crash. You go out on a, with the boat and you'd be able to be. See what I have to put up with? <laughs> you like to play a word with me. Now I'm playing a word with you also. I teach you too good English. <laughs> the root hiding. They knowing we coming. What do you reckon? The serenity. Yeah, he's nice. It's like Bonnie Doon. Very the cool. bird is hey, and no, no mosquitoes. No. Usually mangroves are fucking lousy with mosquitoes. Yeah. Well, there ain't any. What they said. Beautiful. The right. bird is sitting. And even better because early in the morning, no tourists. No. Just us. No tourists. No terrorists, yeah. Whatever, you know, I could get it. Bloody horrendous. I went there twice. So. so, for all the visitors who come into Lembongan, they do have a several option. Why you keep it? Uh, they give a several option. You can ask the man who died, uh, what is this? Pedal yeah. for you. And the second one, you can pedal by yourself. And then another one is you using the canoe. The canoe has two kind of canoe, standing and sitting. So this is the place, the not dangerous. It's a, uh, what is this? A uh, cool place, not not very, very sun. It's comfy and beautiful, natural. No crocodile? No crocodile. No. No monkey, but I have baboon. <laughs> no mosquito. Baboon who holding the camera. <laughs> I, think she's, I think she's going to give you the shit, pal. Uh, yeah. right? yeah. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. See? The standing pad. Oh, oh, not for long. Doing the also. Yeah, Go there. So, no. Well, my <coughs> closing comments on Nusa Lembongan is I just love it. It's nice and quiet, nice and slow. There's plenty of cold beers. And, um, old fashioned Bali. Yeah, it is the old fashioned Bali. There's lots and lots of really friendly people over here. And it's the sort of place if you want to do nothing, <laughs> you're in the exact place because there's not a lot to do. but I tell you, doing nothing is just the right thing to do sometimes. Just love it. I can definitely come back. And um, I had an absolute wonderful time. Thanks, uh, Katut, for sorting us out here, getting us over here. And the restaurant was good. The accommodation was great. The company wasn't too bad. Oh, no. <laughs> No, so, um, he's organized the bloody great the even the girl, oh, yeah. the girl taking us absolutely, the man. And, you couldn't as soon as, as soon as they found out we were in KW Tours, they looked after us, they hand delivered us to the boat oh. and uh, the new jetty, and that's really good at uh, at Sonora. So, 
Yeah, I know. Look, I would suggest if you're going to come over to Bali for an adventure holiday, get all your fun in up front, and then give yourself a couple of days to wind down, and this is the perfect place to do it. This is Lembon. I'll see you again. How was it? It's a beautiful, yeah. Uh, you see, you can see the water is very clear. Say again, sir.